everyone my name is Jenna but you guys can call me Jen and welcome back to my channel welcome to another weekend reading vlog <laughs> please excuse my hair this is just how I have to do it it is yet another weekend it is currently Saturday in my sunroom it is like 31 degrees outside right now it's gonna get up to 34 I plan to sit outside for a hot second and get burnt today <sighs> just just because just because it, I feel like I need to do that at least one day during the summer and why not now it's another weekend of reading ahead of me I am excited I got two books that I am currently reading both of them have audiobooks which is amazing this one is chilling effect by Valerie Valdez this one my friend convinced me to read it and you guys will remember it from the last vlog where I was like oh like it was part of that bundle of books that I read the first lines of to choose which I wanted to read next in that one I ended up reading six crimson cranes but because this one has an audiobook I figured that I would try it now and I'm halfway through and I'm enjoying it it is like a funny tropey space opera so I'm here for it because I'm so new to the sci-fi genre I've read like less than 20 sci-fi books in my life I am here for all the campy tropey wonderfulness <laughs> so this is this is enjoyable I'm enjoying it and I cannot wait to see where it goes from where I'm at and well I, I guess I should probably tell you what it is about so it's about Captain Eva Innocente who gets like a call one day that her sister Mari has been kidnapped and that she must do a bunch of things and not tell her crew what she's doing them for to like guarantee her sister's safety. It's one of those books. It's chaotic. It does not stop. It's great. I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> and then of course I finally started my reread of The House of Hades which I think is my favorite of the uh, Heroes of Olympus books. I think it was my favorite the last time I read it. We'll see this time, but I am enjoying it immensely because this is this is one of the ones where we have like the main demigods on the boat and then we have Percy and Annabeth and Tartarus, right? So it's them like racing against the clock to get to the doors of death at the same time to like close the doors of death before Gaia like raises up and all this kind of stuff. And then this is also the one where they choose, oh, they choose to, it's, it's something to do with the uh, Athena, Athena part Parthenos that they have in their ship they have to get it back to Camp Half-Blood and they have to which is like impossible to do if they want to also get to the doors of death on time like it's like a choice that they have to make it's great and you also have Nico in this which like that child is so broken and I love him so much <laughs> Yeah, you just, it's its really good and you get to see Hazel learn like magic, which is really cool. <sighs> I just love Rick Ryden's works. Like as soon as I picked this up, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I just want to read it all right now. We shall see what I end up finishing this weekend and what if I finish both of these, probably will because they're both audiobooks. I will see what I pick up next. I do also have the audiobook of Blood of Olympus on hold from my library, so I probably will just dive into that one too, finish that off, and then I'm gonna start reading The Trials of Apollo right away because I wanna start that reading vlog for you guys. I'm gonna do a full series reading vlog for that one as well. Anyways, friends, I'm rambling now. I'm going to let my hair dry a little more and then read. I'm gonna read one of these today. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick up first, but we shall see and I will let you know. Hello friends, it is now a little later. I am freezing because apparently that's what happens when you spend 30 minutes out in the sun and then sit in the air conditioning and your body's like, it's really, really, really cold. So I'm in this, that is why. But I also finished Chilling Effect. It's been kind of a good day. It's like five o'clock now almost. So my mom and I actually went into the thrift store and I found two books. I found a really tiny copy of Dune and a massive copy of The Mists of Avalon which looks really fun and has a good rating on Goodreads and it is a King Arthur retelling so you better believe that I'm going to be reading that. I'm very excited but I am gonna go upstairs and I think I'm gonna do some writing. I'm currently in the process of also filming a writing vlog so I won't really discuss my writing too much in this one but yes I did finish Chilling Effect and it was really really fun and I gotta say this is like such a romp such a romp in the sci-fi world. If you're looking for something fun and high-paced, high action, go for this. It was fantastic. I am gonna wait to throw it through Cop Out, but done that one. Once I'm done writing the rest of the day, I'm gonna just spend on House of Hades. So, sounds lovely right now. <laughs> really, just edit. Just sitting in my office right now sounds like the greatest plan on earth, so I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch up with you guys later.
happy Sunday. I'm popping in just to really say hi. I don't really have any new information to tell you guys. It's just a new day. Things are happening. It's Sunday, so I think I have my call with my friends in about a half hour. Not entirely sure. No one said anything, but it's been a thing now for months and months and months and months, so I'm sure we do. Today, what do I want to do? I have no idea. Oh, I figured. Why not show you the two books that I got yesterday from the thrift store? I also got a comment on my video that I put up Friday regarding wanting a bookshelf tour of my bookshelves, which like flattered is all hell because I really want to do a bookshelf tour. It's like, it's on my list of like top videos that I want to do. But the thing is, <laughs> my bookshelves are a goddamn mess. Actually, I'll go down and show you now, because why not? They're a mess, and it's also because I'm in my parents' basement still. Uh, it's very dark in that room at, like, all times. And I really want to do a bookshelf tour when I have my own place, when I've got them set up in my own way, that kind of a thing. So I'll show you what kind of chaos they are in a second, but... All right. <laughs> so yesterday, <laughs> I got a little baby copy of Doom, as I said. It's very small which shocked me because I've always seen like those hardcovers of Dune and they're absolutely massive, but I got it because my friend read it and liked it. My other friend is currently starting to read it and I was like, I feel left out. So I'm gonna get it and listen to it at some point with an audiobook because that's gonna be a dense motherfucker. But anyways, we also got The Mists of Avalon, which is hard to see, which is a beautiful book. And I saw like the, the spine of it and I love me a big floopy paperback and this is massive. So I was like, I'm gonna look that up on Goodreads. Like it tells the story of the women behind King Arthur's throne. So I am ready for this. And like the ratings on Goodreads are like 4.11 or something. So I'm excited. This one is also like 800, 900 pages. So when I get to that baby, I will get to that baby, but I'm excited. Anyways, let me show you my shelves. <laughs> All right, so coming from downstairs, that is my room where I have like a shelf there. I have a shelf in that corner and my TBR shelf here, which you guys see fairly often. But this, you come down this way into this room, which is just a fucking mess right now. But I have these two shelves and then I have uh, most of these two shelves. Um, the books continue down behind the paintings. This, I'll start with the shelf, because why not? So up here, we have my middle grades. This is my Rick Riordan Presents babies. And then these are my, this is my Rick Riordan shelf, and then these that I just put there. <laughs> and then I have the Keepers of the Lost Cities. The rest of that, the very small stack of YA hardcovers that I have. And then I have my Saradasens, and some more YAs. Why contemporaries at least. And then down there, in this little corner right there, I have the rest of my YA contemporaries. And then the rest of it is like really old, kind of gross classic copies. And then down here is like spillover of that and old school books. But then my like proper classics are here. So this actually includes a few of my old school books. Like you can tell the ones that have like the U sticker on them. I studied those in school. I actually studied most of these in school. Um, then I have my pretty classics up there that don't have any room on the shelves. <laughs> more pretty classics. And then more pretty classics that are like my classics that I collect. And then these are just ones that I have not yet put away. <laughs> my uh, Brontes that I have kept out so that I actually read them. And then my entire Penguin softcover collection. I don't actually know what those are called, but yeah, those are my classics. All the rest of the books on these shelves are my parents. Like some of them are mine. Like these are like this, this one and this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. These are all old school books of mine, but the rest of them are my parents. <laughs> and then we have these shelves, which you might be asking, Jen, why the hell do you have all these spines turned around? That's because when I did my friends pick my TBR part two, this is what I did to them to uh, be like, hey, this is <laughs> these are the books that I haven't read, except for this one. This one, I turned this way because I gave away my Akatar set to my friend. So I needed to like put a book there, <laughs> but I need to return a book, return these all around. I just haven't gotten the energy to do so. But yeah, these are my <laughs> YA shelves, YA fantasy and sci-fi shelves. And then these are my adult fantasy and sci-fi shelves, which spills over onto that because I have too many. And then I have my romance and adult books here. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's basically that. I feel like I should turn these around to actually show you what the books are, so hold on. <laughs> And 
she has been turned around. I don't really care about my adult shelf, so it's gonna stay like that because it also helps me like kind of realize what I have read and what I haven't read. Mostly because it's like half turned around. It's fine, but yeah, these are my shelves. So we're gonna start here. I apologize for the gross light that's gonna come through, but all right, so this is my mostly in alphabetical order situation going on. Alphabetical order by author, that's how I do it. So I got all the Ariamis, I got the Adier, Aiviard, and then I got the Bardugo books. I don't have them all. And as such, Diviners, the Graceling Realm, which I loved mostly. Didn't love fire. I liked these two. <laughs> I need to read more of the Gilded Wolves. I've read the first one and I really enjoyed it, so I need to get the second. And the third? I don't know if the third's out yet, but I need to get it. We have all these Cassandra Clare babies. Leaks onto the shelf. Legendborn. This is fantastic. As you guys know. I'm excited to read this one too. I keep like wanting to read it and remembering like witches. I should save that for October. And then I got all these babies. My Kingdom of Back, which is my favorite. All of those. Yeah, I don't really know how much you guys really want of a, of a tour, but this is what she looks like now. And then this is a pile of books that I plan on doing a vlog for because if you guys remember, I did that like trash my TBR video and those were the books that you guys mentioned in the comments. So I've pulled them off and like plan to do something with them eventually. I should probably uh, pencil that into my planner somewhere. Yeah, I should probably pencil that into my planner because I did say in that video I was gonna do a reading vlog for the books that you guys said were worth it or the ones that you just wanted to see me read. <laughs> Because there were a few of those of like, oh, like, this is an interesting sounding book. I want to see you read it. There's a lot of them, so I don't know if I'll get to all of them, but I've put them all there for that purpose. But yeah, those are my shelves down here. I cannot wait until I have my, like, own place and I can set up my shelves all nice. I want, like, white bookshelves so that I can, you know, have them all nicely laid out for videos and, like, have it in, like, the sunshine. That would be just epic. I guess I'll show you my TBR shelf, too. So... TVR shelf it is a hot mess, but like this is what you're gonna get in a room where I have to also store other things. So I got all my tote bags here. I got two copies of the Starless Sea, which like I probably should move to my other shelves, but I don't really have a room right now. I got Groundbreaker, my graphic novels, uh, Rick Ryden books that I'm going to be reading, all of these babies that I really wanna read. These I've already read this month. Red Sabriel as well, Red Agnes Grey, borrowed this Becky Chambers from my friend and this Becky Chambers from my friend, so I need to read those. This is a novella I need to read, and then I just got this last week, and it is absolutely stunning. It was a pre-order, and I am very excited to read it, you guys. It is so beautiful. This is the author who wrote the Cinderella is Dead book, which, like, everybody, like, seemed to really like, but this one sounds incredible because this is, like, Greek mythology inspired so and you guys know how much I love my Greek mythology so I cannot wait to get to this one anyways I'm going to go upstairs and finish my breakfast because I haven't done that yet <laughs> and I'll wait around for my friends to get on call we got 20 minutes now which is exciting and I got my coffee Everything's good. But yeah, my Sunday, I believe, is going to be filled with reading The House of Hades and doing some writing for my draft, of course, but I thought I'd pop in and do that. Can't remember the name of the girl who asked for it. Oh no, let me pull it up on my... I know it's not like a proper bookshelf tour that people like actually want. Cassie Crossing, they said that they wanted a bookshelf tour in the future. So there will still be a bookshelf tour in the future, but it is... Uh... <laughs> Probably not gonna be for a little while until I get my own place and I move out and I set all my shelves and stuff because as you guys saw, my shelves are a shit show. <laughs> That's what's up. I also just got a few text messages from my friends and I don't think Crochet Club is happening. So I'll just be hanging out here today. Just decided to pop in and do that little mini bookshelf tour for Cassie Crossing, cause why not? I love my shelves, even though they're absolutely chaotic. Let me know down below actually in the comments how you organize your bookshelves. I love 
knowing how people organize their bookshelves. The one like organization tool that I don't understand is Rainbow. I understand it. It's beautiful and aesthetic and like everything looks really pretty. But I just, it's one of those things that drives me absolutely bonkers because then like series are split up and authors are split up. So when I was younger, I used to have just like organized by series how I wanted like make it look pretty and keep all the same authors together. But then I, alphabetized my shelves completely. All the genres in together, alphabetized by author. So that's how I went and it was just, it was great for a while, but it like looked pretty chaotic because a lot of my books aren't the same size. But my shelves now, I say like I organize them like a bookstore does, like, you know, like YA, fantasy. Well, I guess that's not really how a bookstore does it, but like by genre and then alphabetize it within the genre. That's how I wanna have my shelves because that makes more sense to me to, and to easily find books and put books away. But but of course my adult section as you saw is just a hot mess because I don't have enough room for all my books on that shelf so it's just all shoved in where I could find room. Hopefully one day when I have my own shelves I can organize it better. Anyways I'm gonna go finish my breakfast and enjoy my coffee and just get on with my day. <laughs> Happy Monday. I am here in the office, as you guys can tell. I just wanted to pop in and say hi. It is officially the start of yet another work week. A slow work week, I can tell, because I have like no emails. But that's what happens in the summer, so. It's all right. But I also wanted to pop in because I finished The House of Hades last night and started The Blood of Olympus, which is very exciting. I gave The House of Hades five stars. I threw it through Cop Out this morning. It is a five star book for me. That book is, I think, my favorite in the series. <laughs> I think it's that one and Son of Neptune, which is really interesting to me. I think I'm gonna do like a, once I finish this one, do like a ranking of the Heroes of Olympus like I did with the Percy Jackson series, but because my Percy Jackson ranking is like number four, number one, number five, number three, and number two. Like it's that is the ranking. But I think for this one so far, it's number four, number two, number three, number one, and then number five. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put Blood of Olympus. I mean, I love them all unendingly. So there is that, but yeah, that's the plan for today is just to work and then read some of this, I guess. I am also trying to desperately finish my draft four of Project Dream before the 15th, which is this Thursday. So I'm going to be writing like 5,000 words today, hopefully. <laughs> because my work day is pretty slow, I think I have an article to write for work, but that's it. So I might do that and then transfer my thoughts to my draft and see how much I can get written today because I just need to. I need to finish that draft. So yes, I decided to pop in with a little Hello, and uh, I think I'll update you guys a little bit later because why not? Why not? Welcome to the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. This weekend, I did a whole bunch of reading. <laughs> I ended up finishing two books this weekend and starting a third. So the first book that I finished was Chilling Effect by Valerie Valdez. This is a super fun space opera romp that is just <laughs> full of tropes that I just find so fun and delicious. And it was just high octane, high powered all the way through. I highly recommend this. This is great. This was fantastic. I <laughs> really enjoyed it. I I gave it like three and a half, four stars. So really liked this. And then I powered through basically the entirety of the House of Hades, which is the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series. I also, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I annotate as I go. I don't know if you can see some of that. 
I find it so much fun annotating books and I absolutely adored this. I ended up giving this one five stars during my reread. Loved it. And then I started The Blood of Olympus, which I am 150 pages into. So this is what I'm going to be continuing this week. Everything is good and great. I also wanted to let you guys know, you guys remember when I said I was getting those nerdy ink covers for Percy Jackson? Well, I've got four of the books that have arrived so far. Uh, this one arrived without a dust jacket, which is perfect because I need, I, I don't need a dust jacket. Uh, the Sea of Monsters arrived with a really terrible dust jacket, as did uh, The Titan's Curse. The Titan's Curse actually ended up being a library copy and the tape ruined the board, but oh well. <laughs> it's going to be hidden by a beautiful hardcovers anyway. And then of course I have the fourth one, which I still have yet to take the dust jacket off of. I'm excited to get the fifth one in and then get the dust jackets in. They are on their way to me, so very excited. Very excited to get those. But yes, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know down below one good thing that happened to you this past weekend something that you really enjoyed, that made you really happy. Anyways, friends, thank you so much. Make sure to like this video if you did, and please subscribe if you haven't yet, because my corner of this book internet is pretty fun. I will catch you in another video soon. Stay kind and keep on reading. Mm -hmm.